southwest. I mean, this is crazy. Yesterday was right around 110 for the high. Wow. So it's been pretty brutal. Spot up the road. It looks brutal. Okay, what's the big deal? It's still something when you're talking about more than 20 records that are in jeopardy. And a lot of these are long-standing records here in Oregon, Washington, through California. Some of these records go way back to the early 1900s. So, All right, this is teetering on, you know, heat that's not good for you, okay? It is just going to be wicked hot. That is. Oh. The dangerous heat rages on out to the west, even sparking wildfires this weekend. And if you're looking for cooling thunderstorms, you're, you're out of luck here. Seriously, this has been like ridiculously warm, even for that part of the country last couple of days. Temps have been up around 115 or so in places like Phoenix, Vegas. Oh, look at this surge of heat in the Missouri Valley to the Mississippi Valley and right into Chicago. Here you go. I mean, temperatures are really going to be cooking. Minneapolis. So all these temperatures that you're seeing, 15 to 25 degrees above average, that is going to push to the east and a good chunk of the country by the end of the week. It's not only going to be down in the south. It's not only going to be in the southwest, but the humongous amount of warm air is going to reach all the way into parts of the northern plains, the upper Midwest. I mean, Wait for that 90 degree day. I know you're not, but it's coming. That's tropical heat, tropical humidity. Okay, cool. Hit the button, baby. What do you got for me? This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents. Ladies and gentlemen, depending on where you are, it is hot, it's going to get hot, and it's going to be hotter. And wetness is going to happen. And as I've said before, I don't want to make light of this because it's deadly. And it's downright scary. It's like a heat wave. It's like a heat bubble strolling across the USA. It's kind of strange, like, these climate chaos days are kind of like a Saturday matinee of monster movies. You got like the Frankenstein, Godzilla, El Nino. Boom, boom, boom. And now, you get attack of the 50-mile heat bubble. Rolling across the USA. Hey, yeah, everybody loves a good sweat. You're getting a good workout. But you're just standing there, and it's fun. So we're keeping on uh, in the weather. It is strange that America's kind of become like a McDLT. One time, one half is freakishly hot, and the other half is freakishly cold. And then it flips. One half is freakishly cold, and the other half is freakishly hot. It's crazy. The weather's crazy. It's wild. The other weather's going to keep getting wild, wild, wild. And please, you know, like, cover the news. Times I'm just like, hey, this is so strange. The only way to deal with it. Is remembering that it's always darkest before the dawn. And Earth is a magic place and miracles happen. So don't count us out. And when I say us, I mean all the good people of Earth. Yeah, we've been screwing up a whole lot lately, last few decades. But we're a scrappy bunch. We're going to put it together and make this puppy fly. All right. I guess summer has begun. Let us make it a good one. No matter how crazy it gets. These are our tests of character. We are not going to let civilization fall on our watch. Can we all agree on that? All right. Peace out. God bless everybody. Don't mention it's going to get hot. Get a cooler. Stuck up on ice. Fans. Watch out for electric companies. Always stay in the shade, stay hydrated, stay liquidated, get in a pool, ride on boats, swim in a river, get in a floaty thing, go down water slides, uh, do whatever you want. Just don't let the sun get the best of you. Because if it does, that meant you didn't follow moderation. What am I talking about? I don't know. Okay, yeah, it's going to get hot, giant hot bubble. Giant hot bubble over the United States. There's a giant hot bubble over the United States, heating everything up. And that is not always good. It's going to cause problems and be problematic, which I think means problems of problems be getting problems. And this heat wave follows after the wet wave. I'm pretty sure the wet wave will follow, and then another heat wave. And then some weird coolness. That's all right. Sometimes weird coolness ain't all that bad. Now I'm leaving. Weird weather watch. Take it up a notch. Every day, 2016. Shit's weird. I don't even want to get into it. That's why I let TV people talk. All right, TV people, talk. Tell them how weird it is. God bless everyone. Stay cool. We will make it through. Interesting uh, weather coming in. All right, let me show you some things here. First of all, the heat's going to start to hit up against this warm front, trying to come into underneath a really fast jet. The two are just not going to play real well. Now watch the heat expand. 100, 110s here, 90s are spreading through the plains. You got 90s already into the uh, Midwest. Remember those dew points in there are high. Back here through parts of Nebraska, temperatures topping 100. And remember these folks just had severe weather. Now they're getting heat. You have 90 degree heat all through the Midwest here. Even hundreds across the south showing up. This is not heat to be playing around with. Okay. Well, if you're out in a pool, you can play around, you know. Now, here's the problem. All right. You got all this heat out here. He's going to try to come eastward. The problem is going to be is that the jet that's coming down is about 120 knots, 130 knots. That's tremendous. So you got this really strong jet stream that's coming down from the northwest, intercepting this ultra heat and humidity. Okay. So it's going to set up a band of thunderstorms here initially on um, Friday, but then Saturday you get really tremendous amounts of thunderstorms developing. And in my mind, I can't figure out whether this is going to be individual thunderstorms with tornadoes or it's going to be one of these uh, derechos that is going to come cascading southeastbound from the Great Lakes all the way down through Virginia, uh, West Virginia into Virginia. Parts of western Pennsylvania, maybe back to Altoona, up to Detroit, Cincinnati, and then probably all the way down to Baltimore, Washington. There's going to be some uh, really nasty weather going on on Saturday. Tornado 
tornadoes uh, could be occurring as well. There's some things here remind me of a sneaky little tornado outbreak occurred many years ago. It's kind of funny how those things work out, isn't it? So this is really a nasty day. If you're outside, you know, just be careful. It's kind of a heat exhaustion type day out there. In fact, in some cases, be uh, problematic. One of the big problems we're going to have with the heat coming in. The heat's building up, heading up against the boundary. You've got thunderstorms breaking out. There's probably going to be some tornado activity with this as the jet tries to come southeastward. You see this whole thing uh, starts to cascade. Ohio, Western PA for some really nasty storms on Saturday. You have a tremendous heat and humidity. So the way in which you can get storms to form is due to the jet stream. You can see this big dip in the jet stream, and it's going to be pretty chilly in the upper levels of the atmosphere. That's going to cause a lot of instability, and it may cause a battle zone to form in here between the warmer air moving in and the cool air hanging on. A lot to talk about in the weather. You think it's hot in the southeast. Look at the southwest. I mean, this is crazy. Yesterday was right around 110 for the high. Wow. So it's been pretty brutal. It's been up the road. It looks brutal. Okay, what's the big deal? It's still something when you're talking about more than 20 records that are in jeopardy. And a lot of these are long-standing records here in Oregon, Washington, through California. Some of these records go way back to the early 1900s. So, All right, this is teetering on, you know, heat that's not good for you, okay? It is just going to be wicked hot. That is. Oh. The dangerous heat rages on out to the west, even sparking wildfires this weekend. And if you're looking for cooling thunderstorms, you're, you're out of luck here. Seriously, this has been like ridiculously warm, even for that part of the country last couple of days. Temps have been up around 115 or so in places like Phoenix, Vegas. Oh, look at this surge of heat.